And now they know where they're coming, so there's going to be spam. So I would jump the soldier and... Well, that sucks. I can't say I would have popped that door either. Maybe I would have switched doors after uh, <laughs> they knew we were all there, though. It's not a bad idea. Okay, so... Uh, suicides are kind of probably hopeless at this point because they have the doors denied. So I would just not bleed players as red here and get ready for an exchange across mid because you know they popped after your medic died so the ubers are pretty close so it's not a not too big of a deal to just uh, stay six up and that's what they're doing it's a smart play that's what I would do and here's this flanking demo again what is with this scrim <laughs> man uh, it's a demo fight on the flank <laughs> I don't understand man okay Whatever. I don't know if I agree with pulling out a sniper in the middle of the map like this. I mean, why? Are there even good sightlines on this point? Like, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get this demo if he stands here for two years, but flanking demo fight again? Okay, so Red should be playing defensive. I would maybe leave a soldier up here to try to force out the pop because even if you lose that soldier, having the demo spawn. Oh, <laughs> man, that looks stupid. The sniper killed a med while I wasn't looking. And should just be basically not dropping this Uber. Yeah, he already popped it. Not dropping this Uber, just clutching it for his team with a single right click after getting a big advantage like that. It's just what you gotta do, you don't pop glamorously, but, uh, okay, gotta stop it, I'm getting too far behind. What happened there was they popped with only the combo when there is no enemy medic in play, and I know I talked about uh, having a strong uber by making sure you have a single uber, but it's, uh, when you have a massive advantage, and you're going to be able to pop for frags, not pop just to, to clear a choke, then flashing doesn't hurt you that much, and they really should have had somebody with them. So, uh, for the ac looks of this, they actually had the only the sniper at mid and just spawned, so uh, I suppose I didn't understand the situation totally, but that was an overextension by their combo. Uh, given that they had a bunch of spawns, they should have backed up for spawns and gone back, because it was an acceptable advantage to have killed the enemy med uh, in, in trade for a few players, but it's bad if you get over eager and lose your med right after because of that. Uh, so, let's keep watching. So this, sh well, it's hard to say. I would say this is actually even hold because uh, the spawn, like the med would spawn, just got in for blue. But apparently they pushed, and apparently they got a bunch of picks because who knows where the heck Red's combo is, sitting back in the yard. So this is kind of an awkward situation they're getting themselves into now. It's like a state where you lose players, and then you fight multiple 3v6s and just keep getting rolled back. And it's especially rough because I think they just switched to crits, so... Unless they get a drop, which is hard to uh, see happening, unless the medic's asleep. Um, is it crits? Okay, well, it doesn't matter, he's dead now. Yeah, they're in this awkward position still, where they're just bleeding players off. 3v6, 3v6. The spawns are staggered. Like, you can see this big block of three people spawning in five seconds, and the next two in ten seconds. And it's just not pretty, and... That leads into their flank being picked at mid, and kind of before that, it was just ch chain of mistakes. The flank getting picked at mid without the combo support, and the combo moving up without the flank support. Uh, so, let's see if these guys can keep it a bit more together this round. <coughs> Man. Here we go, mid fight. Oh, let's see what the demo's doing. So this demo is Cliff again. Oh, heavy spam from the soldiers, not the equalizer rollout I was talking about, but nice play adapting to that demo from Blue. And, okay, let's stop this. 
I feel like this is th the plan once they're on mid is not well defined. Oh, with the super advantages that crits, yeah it is. Okay. So the plan on mid is clearly like we're gonna crits them, but there's a big like five, ten second window of time where uh <coughs> Hans's team was sitting basically with their soldiers in demo in a big clump on the ground and that's not something you can do on mids against teams that jump aggressively into you. Thankfully for them, their uh, opponents are obliging them and not really playing aggressive enough to take advantage of the fact that they're all sitting in the same location. But uh, <coughs> you gotta pretty much to win mids, you need to move your combo. Uh, sitting in a holding location on mid like what they're doing here is pretty much asking to get jumped on but it like it, it doesn't matter too much as long as you're moving somewhere at least you're taking ground you're making your position less predictable and you're ensuring that uh, your combo gets as much DM in as possible as compared to uh, let, letting scouts or something hunt kills which is you know doesn't work out too well so let's just see how this crits goes uh, here's the pop. They lost two already, but apparently the other team was a little bit late on that soldier jump. They're gonna get the med, but I think... Oh, no. Blue came out on top, so... Uh, as nice as the crits was, they dropped players right before, and I think that leads back to what I was pausing and s talking about with the combo very, uh, very defensive in this area mid, while they were more spread out with their other players. Uh, obviously, I mean, it makes perfect sense when you just hear it. It's a lot easier to win a fight when you have 300 health than when you have 200, so... Uh, people opening fights should hopefully be the buffed ones, not the the ones coming in on flank. They, they should be trying to play more cleanup or trading roles rather than busting things open. So, disadvantage, but uh, th that's fast charge rate. This is still crits. I guess the last one worked okay, but they gotta be aggressive. Like, they gotta... Oh, well, the other team could just come to them. It. Oh! It. <sighs> nice crits. Okay. I don't... Oh! Wow, that worked out well, bringing the soldier in. I think it was risky to not have a soldier with the medic in the first place, just in case somebody attacked from behind. It's really nice to be able to switch your crits onto a soldier right after you use the first couple stickies on your demo. But, you know, what can I say? My crits usually don't work that well, so... <laughs> we'll just, uh... leave it at that. Cap time with the scouts. For some reason, everybody's standing on their set of points. It's kind of weird. Okay. Oh man, I hate those random pipes. But it's okay. You can just push right side. Just go for it. Or not. See now, this is hesitation. It's meaningless hesitation. They cap mid. They may have had people dead for longer, but their people were spawning from forward, and they didn't have to pause here for anything. So they're going to sit and hold this crits for way too long. And the other team doesn't seem to react well to it, so maybe it's still going to do something. But you need to be, like, running forward with that crits to keep using it. Like, if you're not popping a crits really fast, then just get back on Uber. Not that this guy had an opportunity, but... Alright, yeah, pop it, pop it, pop it. Yes. So everything I just said was kind of a lie, apparently. Because there's a whole bunch of people up there for, for them to frag. Maybe I can just save face and say, uh, it's the other team not reacting well to it. But you gotta keep moving. Two picks, you know they have uber advantage, you're gonna get this force, and that's what you're gonna do. Go for it. Just don't overcommit your med. Well, the other medic is undercommitted, so <laughs> it's a bunch of spam rockets, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you know, for all the times that a medic jukes too much and gets killed, there's those times he doesn't juke enough, and that was one of those times. So easy cleanup coming in for Hans' team. Actually, he's playing quite well, I would say. I mean, you die there, but 
Your team's got this. Just need to shoot the ground a little bit. You know, where, where's the spawn? Spawn. Hiding. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is, uh, perhaps, uh, reason number five why you don't have your demo flanking and you haven't played with the combo. I don't know. Watching a uh, slow scout fight right here. And Free State coming out on top. Like a boss. Okay, so. I think Yerb is behind. Maybe I wasn't paying too close attention to the medic spawns. I guess they spawned at the same time, so it's even. But, one pick, sniper is up. And the med just died somehow. But sniper is up, that's like free push, so. Easy peasy. As Day 9 would say, lemon squeezy. Or. Is that Day 9? That's Artosis. Except my commentator's here. <coughs> okay. So. Yeah, I would say they took advantage of that pretty well. Although, I wouldn't have been as scared of that sniper as the medic was. Like, I understand being careful to hide your head, but he was getting spammed to crap, so it's not like he's gonna hit. You can't actually hit shots when you have rockets flying into you. So now you can't hesitate because you've got to go before they get buffed. You know that their med just spawned. He didn't have time to buff, but now everybody's 300. And you're waiting for what exactly? This soldier? You had a pick and now they're gonna kite it and get the pop off. There's nothing wrong with having a follow-up you don't need the six up to push every time, you're not gonna uber everybody every time. Except apparently here you are. So I don't know. I would say this push does not deserve to take the point, but my predictions have been pretty far off. Okay. Three people, deep red, and they're able to repush, so Mr. Blue Team that I'm not mentoring. There, you should be calling your damage more because I don't know. Getting three people into deep red without a frag is pretty bad. Not that conducive to holding your life.